Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And in this video, I want to show you how you can download your transactions from your online banking and import them into QuickBooks Online. So there's a lot of reasons you might do this and I've run into them and this is how you actually do this. So I'm just going to do a walkthrough. All right, so here I am. I'm in the QuickBooks Online desktop app. And by the way, if you haven't tried out this app, I really, really encourage you to do it because if you're just switching over from the desktop version to the online version, you're going to like that it's going to feel a little bit closer to home. So you're going to have, uh, you can have this layout by hitting this desktop view right up here on the top. And you're going to have all your, your regular menu items up top here. So those are a little small, I realize, but anyway, or if you like the online view, it's right here. And all this is, as far as I could tell, is a secure online uh, web browser. Basically, a QuickBooks online only web browser is what this is. So if you want to get that, you go to the gear and then you go to get the desktop app. And that way you can download it quick and easy to set up. I think you just got to log in and you're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and look at it. So if you want to import your bank transaction. So let's just say, for example, that you are having trouble syncing, or maybe you want to bring in some old transactions that, that didn't come in in your original sync, or um, maybe you just don't trust entering in your bank account information. So you want to, you were entering everything in manually. So how would you import those bank transactions to help it make it easier so that you can reconcile? So let's go ahead and go to the gear. And right here is import data. So it's right under tools, import data. And there's a number of different things that they can help you to do. I kind of wish they'd let you import bills. Um, sometimes I make a lot of payments and that would be nice. But right now they have import invoices. So if you do a lot of billing and maybe you track that in Excel, this might be a way to do it. Uh, in a future video, I want to do this one, import journal entries. So I just did that the other day. I had this really gnarly... Um, uh, yeah, journal entry that was like over a hundred lines and I had it, I calculated everything in Excel and it was just nice to copy and paste it in versus manually entering in every single line. But what we're talking about today is bank data. So that's the one you want, the very top one. All right, so here we are. And again, they're going to try to push you to do this automatic, uh, bring in your transactions automatically, but Honestly, the reason why we're talking about this is because you want to bring them manually and you need to be able to download your transactions from your bank, either in CSV, TXT, QFX, QBO. So I, I don't know what exactly all these are, but this is Quicken. This is QuickBooks. This is some kind of open source one. And then these are text. So what I would encourage you to do is either QuickBooks or Quicken. I think that'll just be the easiest. Uh, that format is already ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my web browser and I'm going to drag this over here. So I just have my banking open. I'm, I made it a little bigger and I'm going to go ahead and bring over my transactions since, since the close of the month. And so I'm going to do it in QuickBooks. I just think that'll be the best. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit and it says, go ahead and download it. And I hit the download and now it's up here. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's a QBO file. That's exactly what you want. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And so I have my QBO file and I'm just dragging it and I'm going to drop it. And it says it's good to go. I got the little check mark. And it even lets me know. It says, here's my checking account number. Here is my um, date range. All this looks good. And they're going to say, what QuickBooks account does this go to? So I got a couple of these. Uh, when I used bill.com, they had these in and out clearing accounts. So I don't use them. So there's no activity in there. So I'm just going to click those for now. And it says it's complete. That was super quick, super easy. And we can double check now. So if we go over to our bill.com one, you can see these are all the different transactions. 
So if, and this just gives you a quick head start. So if you, if you're like me and you'd like to enter in some transactions, especially your electronic ones through this bank transactions, you can go ahead and do that. So, I mean, I could see that this one's already coded correctly. So I could go ahead and say it's into it. It's to this account. I could just hit add. If it's not right, I can just click on it and I could choose the right payee. I could choose the right account and it would be good to go. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I'm going to actually get rid of all these transactions right now. I'm going to exclude them. All right, hopefully you found that helpful. And like I said, I'm going to try to do one on the journal entries too, because at least for me, that's a big thing. Um, I don't know if I'll do one on the invoices. I suppose for a church, if you have a lot of people that you're invoicing on pledges. So if you're entering pledges, maybe that's helpful. I'll have to think about that. Anyway, until next time, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and be blessed.